More than 2.3 million Ukrainians have fled to Poland since the beginning of the war. Today alone, the border guards have received another 7,000 people. In Kramatorsk, the war was the beginning. When we were packing, we heard a huge explosion. But then I found out that it was our army that shot down a missile. We sat in the basement for an hour and a half, and the alarm was going off the whole time. We went back upstairs, put the children to bed, and then the alarm sounded again. It was terrible. It was hard for us. We took the cat on the road, but it did not survive the stress. We drove four days from Kiev. There was a lot of traffic. Once we slept in the hotel, there was only space in the gym. They let us sleep there because of the baby. Desperate mothers with children look for a sense of security in Poland. The Polish education system has already registered 140,000 students from Ukraine. A special law opens the possibility of working in schools for Ukraine. Ukrainian teachers. Even if they don't know Polish, they can become multicultural assistants and help Ukrainian children. The act explicitly states that a statement is sufficient. We do not require a certificate of knowledge of the Polish language. We do not require any certificates or documentation confirming the completion of pedagogical studies in Ukraine. I told them it might just be impossible. Since February 24th, PKP Intercity has been carrying refugees from Ukraine Ukraine for free. Special trains run from Przemysl, Warsaw, Kraków and Katowice. Ukrainians can use them to get to Berlin and Munich. We adjust the number of trains and carriages to the number of people willing to travel. We extend some of the trains because such are the needs. We have also changed the categories of trains so that they are free for passengers from Ukraine. The law on aid to Ukrainian citizens opens the possibility of 500 plus benefit, a PESEL number, and an account in a Polish bank and a Polish phone number are required. This weekend, the social insurance institution ZUS is organizing a special campaign weekend for Ukraine. On Saturday and Sunday in various places in Poland, ZUS offices are open to Ukrainian citizens who want to apply for 500 plus. A special point also operates at the National Stadium in Warsaw. President Andrzej Duda met with refugees, volunteers and management in the Caritas Center of Kraków Diocese. The president reminded of the need to help Ukrainian citizens, including those who came to Poland through other countries.